What are the best troops in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord in 2023? In this video we will answer this question and elect the best archers, the best shield infantry, the best shock infantry, the best melee cavalry and the best mounted archers of the current patch. The goal is to give you guys a short and concise overview of my most recent testings. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off with the best archers. As the only tier 6 archer in the game, Fian champions are number one in almost every way you can possibly compare them to other foot archers. They have the highest bow skill, the highest armor, the best bow with the highest damage and missile speed, and they have with 64 arrows the highest arrow capacity with the second best arrows. They are also insanely strong in melee combat, beating tier 5 infantry units with ease. But to give you an idea how much better they are than other foot archers, I set up a DPS test where I measured how fast 10 archers can eliminate 30 infantry units from a short to medium distance. And for that I used 10 tier 1, 10 tier 3 and 10 tier 5 units to get some armor variety. I tested 5 times for each unit type and used the fastest run for this comparison. As you can see here, the Fians obviously cleared the field out the fastest, with 50 seconds on their best try. What was surprising however, is that both the SRM Master Archers and the Imperial Palantine Guards were only around 10-20% to slower. The Sturgeon Veteran Bowman and the QZ Marksman were with 90 seconds and 75 seconds in their respective best run far behind the rest and I wouldn't recommend using them in any circumstance. For crossbows I tested Vlandian sharpshooters and they also performed very poorly in this test. In general, the slight range and accuracy advantage, plus the higher damage per hit, cannot make up for the painfully slow reload speed of crossbows. They also only have 18 shots before they turn into a mediocre shield infantry unit. Conclusion: Fian champions are clearly the best, but Imperial Palantine Guards and Ezra Master Archers are better than expected. Next we have a look at infantry. Here the playing field is much more even, as there is no tier 6 unit in the mix. Infantry in Bannerlord comes in two types. Units that use a 100 weapon and a shield, and there is shock infantry that uses strong 200 weapons. And if you let those two unit types fight each other in a vacuum, you will notice that shock troops pretty much always will come out on top over shield infantry. Once you add archers in the mix however, the tables are turning. Here for example, you can see 100 legionaries easily win against 100 manavliotons if both sides have 100 of the same archers on their side. The job of shield infantry is to hold the front line and prevent the enemy from rushing down your archers. Having shield walls on the front line draws enemy archer fire and also increases the duration of battles, which gives your archers more time to DPS. And the best unit for that is in my opinion the Imperial Legionary, with the Sturgeon Heavy X-Men as a close second. Both these units are absolute frontline monsters. Legionaries win every frontline skirmish against any other shield infantry when equal in numbers. They beat high tier shield infantry due to their fast blunt type damage maces that two thirds of them are equipped with. Legionaries also have pretty decent armor and shields. The Sturgeon Heavy Spearmen have the best armor and can be situationally good, for example against cavalry. The SRA Veteran Infantry is also decent, but not as good as my top 2. Dark Khan could be decent, but their small shield and low leg armor holds them back tremendously. In terms of tier 5 shock troops, the field is very even, but my choice here falls on the Imperial Elite Manavliaton. They have the best combined head and body armor out of all shock troops and with the Manavlion a really solid weapon that is comparably fast and has good reach and handling. They are well rounded and do well against most troops, plus they are an excellent anti-cavalry unit. I know everyone loves the Sturgeon Linebreakers, me included. They are pretty good overall and amazing against low tier units with their cleaving axes, but overall worse than the Manavliotons in my opinion. The Vlandian Vulgier are also pretty good, but more of a glass cannon with low armor and a super high damage polearm. But as I said, this category is pretty balanced and all 5 shock troops are totally usable. That being said, if you want the absolute best shock troop in the game, then dismounted Khan's guard with hold fire command are the way to go. 
Those will cause an absolute carnage with their high armor, 260 pole arm skill and incredibly strong glaives. Next we have melee cavalry. Here we have a total of 4 different tier 6 units to choose from. Vlandian Banner Knights, Sturgeon Drushinik Champions, Azerai Vanguard Ferris and Imperial Elite Cataphracts. And in my opinion, the Elite Cataphracts take the cake of the best melee cavalry unit in 2023. They are by far the tankiest of those four, with the highest combined head and body armor and the highest horse armor. They are also the only one of these that uses a two-handed pole arm, which has more damage and more reach. A small downside is that they can't equip a shield with their pole arm, which makes them swap to their one-handed sword quite often. Cataphracts also can't couch their lances, so they lose some damage on the initial charge. But in drawn out battles, I basically haven't seen a scenario where any of the other three units performs better. Banner Knights are also pretty decent. They have great horses with lots of HP and charge damage. Their main weakness is their low head and body armor and I experienced losing Banner Knights much more quickly than Cataphracts in drawn out battles. The fairies have fast and maneuverable horses, which however are quite fragile. Fairies use javelins, which can be good, but oftentimes it feels like they are wasting time running circles and aiming their projectiles, while they could do more damage with their melee weapons in that time. The Sturgeon melee calf has 90 less pole arm skill than Banner Knights and Cataphracts, and they also have with 200 hit points and 55 armor the most fragile horses out of all tier 6 melee calf units. So, Cataphracts for the win, right? Well, maybe. One could argue that Khan's guard with their hold fire command are better. Khan's have much more offensive potential than Cataphracts due to their superior weapon and more maneuverable horses. They don't have a shield however and also have significantly less armor than Cataphracts, including a huge difference in horse armor. Personally, I prefer Cataphracts, but this is definitely up to debate. And last but not least, we have Mounted Archery. As they are the only tier 6 unit in the mix, the Crusade Khan's Guards are obviously the best horse archer units in Bannerlord. If you fight them in the open and let them do their circle thing, they are basically untouchable. And in those rare cases in which they are having troubles, you can always use them as an incredibly strong melee unit, mounted and dismounted. The Khan's Guard is the best horse archer, the best melee shock troop, a top 2 melee cavalry unit and the second best foot archer in Bannerlord. The easiest way to nerf them would be to nerf their glaives and or their polearm skill. Their melee DPS is simply too high, especially for a supposedly ranged special unit. The best tier 5 horse archers are clearly the Crusade heavy horse archers. They are better than the SRI Mamluk that only come with one stack of arrows and the Imperial Bucellari that have weak head and body armor and extremely weak horse armor. Keep in mind that all these rankings come from personal experience plus a few days of testing on the latest Bannerlord patch. To come up with a truly objective ranking, we needed to perform thousands of meticulously controlled test runs. And what exactly would we even test to determine the best unit? There are so many different constellations and variables to account for. Also, battle tactics are much much more important than having the best troops. And lastly, Bannerlord is at first a role-playing game and you don't need the best troops to do well in this game even on the highest difficulty. So let me know your favorite troops, troop compositions and strategies in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please take a second to leave a like and consider subscribing to this channel for future medieval slasher content. As always, thank you all for watching and see you soon.